Hey everybody, Dan with Warpaint JKU. In this quick video, I'm gonna do a walk around first impression of the all new 2022 Ram 2500 with the 6.4 Hemi gas engine. Check it out. I've owned a number of diesels over the years and I've owned a couple of obviously gas vehicles, but gas pickup trucks in particular. And the gas pickup trucks of yesteryear were awful. Uh, if you were doing any sort of heavy-ish towing, a gas pickup truck was not what you wanted. Um, gas pickup trucks, they just did not have the ability to move that kind of weight. So everyone went with a diesel. The thing with a diesel nowadays, guys, is diesels now have that those after-treatment systems for their fuel. Yes, a lot of people delete them, but that is highly illegal if you are caught. Uh, I'm not going to get into that. Um but those systems have a lot of problems with them. They like to run really warm, they like to run really hot, and if you're not driving it enough when you when you initially start the vehicle, like if your commute is only 10 miles to work and you live in a cold environment, you're gonna probably have issues with that after treatment system. Um, gas engine's not gonna give you that. And those after treatment systems killed the fuel economy on those diesel engines. So if you wind up getting a, a big gas motor, um, you wind up actually having similar fuel economy to one of the diesels when you when you leave that after treatment system in there. You can't pull quite as much weight, but it is kind of surprising. Stick around, we're gonna talk about that kind of stuff and how much weight these new pickup trucks, specifically the Ram, will actually pull. But let's do a walk around, let's check out the truck. All right, so these Rams obviously come in a number of different ways and different setups. This 2022 behind me is a standard bed, which is the short bed. It's six feet, four inches long. Um, it's not the long bed. That way it'll park a little easier, maneuver itself a little easier, things like that. I don't need a long bed, right? Now it is the actual crew cab. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just speaking in general terms here. I know that some of these terms are not what Ram necessarily refers to it as, but Everyone knows what I mean when I say crew cab. And this truck actually has a crew cab. There's, there's three different kinds of crew cabs that they offer on Ram trucks. And they offer a really tiny one. It looks like a normal back door, but it's actually a lot shorter. They offer the normal crew cab, like a full-size crew cab. And then they offer the mega cab in some of these heavy-duty trucks. This is not the mega cab, but it is the standard normal crew cab. I'll show you that in just a second. All right, now if you notice on the front of the vehicle, the bumper is painted white the rest, like the rest of the vehicle is. The grill and the headlights are blacked out. Um, that is because this 2022-2500 is, a, a, is equipped with the night edition, which kind of blacks out all that stuff, makes it look a little sleeker, a little sportier. Pretty cool. Um, this edition truck is a Longhorn which in Texas, they actually call it the Lone Star Edition, but Texas is the only place that, that switches it to the Lone Star Edition. I'll show you some of the badging on the interior that they swap for that, but let's check it out. So like I said a second ago, guys, this is the Night Edition in what's called in Texas the Lone Star Edition. So it is not a top of the line, but it looks like a nice truck. It has the black running boards, it's got black wheels, um, you know, it just makes it look a little bit nicer, a little bit sleeker. This is the, uh, the interior that I was talking to you about with that back door being, being a lot bigger than, than a, uh, than the, the shorter, smaller crew cab that they make, but let's check it out and go inside. Now, when you open up the back door, the interior is nice, right? It's got leather in all the right places stitched. It's got some little inserts in it that kind of dress it up a little bit, power windows, that kind of stuff. The seat in the back actually flips up from the bottom okay and it allows you to have this uh this platform down here which kind of folds out onto the floor and makes a nice big flat surface for your dogs or tools heck even if you want to lay down in there and sleep it's pretty nice on the driver's side under the seat there's actually a storage compartment which is going to have the uh adapter for your trailer hitch and all that kind of stuff but it's nice. So this particular truck has cloth interior, nothing overly fancy. It's got some air conditioning vents for the rear seat, little storage, some cup holders. But as you can see, I mean, I'm a, I'm a big guy and, uh, you know, plenty of leg room back here with the seat slid back. 
it uh, works really well. Now this radio though does have wireless Apple CarPlay. So again, having an Apple, you know, having an iPhone, you can just have your navigation displayed right on that screen anyway. It works perfectly fine. Now I talked before about how in Texas, um, the Longhorn edition is actually called the Lone Star edition. Um, but again, it's the only state where they do that. This over here will show you, that's the one badge on the dash where it would normally say Longhorn. In Texas, it says Lone Star. Um, that's just the only difference really that this truck has in Texas. Um, but again, cup holders in the front, a uh, quite a large uh, center console here, which is pretty standard with any of the larger pickup trucks. Seats are really comfortable, power windows, power mirrors, you know, everything in here is power. It's pretty nice. Um, now I will say it's got a couple of modes as far as towing and things like that go. One of the coolest things about this truck is the rear suspension setup. Um, Ram started doing this a number of years ago. I believe that they are one of, if not the only pickup truck manufacturer that, that does it this way, but let's get to the back of the vehicle and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So in the rear of this vehicle, obviously it's just got that massive rear end back there. Uh, so it has a nice big gear set up. It only has 373s, gets pretty decent fuel mileage. We'll take it on a test drive in just a second. But if you look over here, there are coil springs in the rear, not leaf springs. And let me tell you guys, those coil springs do not affect the towing capacity or the capability of this vehicle at all, but they definitely vastly improve the ride quality over the traditional leaf spring setup. All right, so as I was saying, guys, the, uh, the, the coil spring rear suspension in this vehicle makes it drive really, really nice. Uh, it's really smooth, uh, even for a, a pretty heavy duty, you know, 2,500 truck. Um, and like I said a second ago, it does nothing to uh, restrict the capacity or the ability of this pickup truck at all. Uh, in fact, this 2500 with the six foot four bed is rated at having a payload capacity of 4,000 pounds in the bed, um, which is a ton of weight. So it used to be years ago that pickup trucks were rated at half ton, three quarter ton, and one ton, uh, 2500 being a three quarter ton. Um, and that kind of referenced their payload capacity. And a lot of people still refer to them as that, but again, payload capacity of 4,000 pounds in the bed of this truck, that actually makes it, a, 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 that makes it able to carry two tons of weight in the bed uh, on a coil spring and still maintain a nice ride quality down the road. Pretty awesome. So the 6.4, in this Ram 2500 is the standard motor option. The upgraded option would be the diesel. Uh, and like I've talked about with the diesels and, and on my Instagram and, and in other videos, diesel engines are great. But nowadays when they try to choke them down with all the restrictions um, as far as fuel efficiency, uh, it suffers. So uh, they can still pull a lot more weight than these gas engines can, but the gas engines of today are actually pulling the weight that diesel engines used to actually rated to pull 17,000 pounds, um, which is a ton of weight. Um, I mean, you know, you guys have watched other videos on my YouTube about, you know, obviously I off-road uh, built Jeep JKU with one ton axles under it and all that kind of stuff. That vehicle weighs in at over 6,000 pounds. Then you throw it on a trailer and it's pretty heavy. We're still not anywhere near the max capability of this rig. So again, guys, this, this vehicle can pull so much weight um, and you don't have any of the added maintenance costs of, of running a diesel. The other thing which I particularly really like about the gas motor um, is, and it's funny, a lot of people would say that this 6.4 is detuned um, because it only makes 410 horsepower, 429 torque. Um, but the reason Dodge and Ram did that is they didn't actually detune it, they retuned it. Uh, and there is a difference, right? I mean, the 6.4 in most other vehicles is actually rated at about 485 horsepower um, and slightly less torque that torque and horsepower rating is at max RPM. 
let's be realistic. When you're towing with a with a 2500 or a 3500 pickup truck, you're not maxing out your RPMs uh, towing up hills. So um, what they did was they they retuned it so that the torque and everything was lower in the RPM range to make it tow much better. And uh, guys, let me tell you, the, my first impression of this truck is the, the power and torque that it has right off the line. I've driven other 6.4s and, and Dodge Chargers and things like that. And they're great, they're fast, they're fun, but they're not something that you would want to hook a, hook a trailer up to. Um, and uh, you know, as far as the motor's concerned, these are, th this Ram is awesome. It actually drives better than my other older diesels that I used to have as far as power and where the power is in the RPM range. It's really phenomenal. Now, the big question that everybody wants to know about with this, this hog is fuel mileage. Every vehicle has a fuel mileage rating from the factory. We all know that they're not usually all that accurate. Here's the bottom line. This vehicle has an eco mode. In eco mode, it actually shuts off half the cylinders and only runs it as a four cylinder. Um, eco mode, I have found, stays on a lot more often the faster you drive. At lower speeds, eco mode shuts off almost as soon as you touch the gas pedal. Um, so if you're not driving around at 45, 50 miles an hour, you're not gonna get the best, best fuel mileage out of this, um, even with eco mode. I, around town, empty, not pulling anything so far, have been averaging anywhere. If I really have to drive slow and I'm in a lot of traffic, I can get as low as 10, 11. Uh, if I'm driving normally through town and there's not much traffic, um, you know, speed limits anywhere from 35 to 45 miles an hour, uh, I can usually get it up around the 13, 14 mark. Um, on the highway, it's actually been pretty decent. I'm actually getting like 16, 17. And I've been told that that's gonna get even better as the engine wears and breaks in. Um, again, guys, this eight-speed transmission shifts so often, it keeps it in the power. I have no, no problems uh, with the idea of pulling a heavy load with this. Um, you know, the rear suspension is very, very comfortable. It's very roomy, it's very quiet. Um, it's just an all around great truck. I'm really impressed with it. It's going to be a little while before I tow a heavy load a long distance and have some fuel mileage for you there. But guys, if you're thinking about it, um, the Ram 6.4 is a great motor. Uh, the eight speed is a great proven transmission. They've been using it for quite a while. It's very heavy duty. It runs a really long time without issues. Um, it gets pretty good fuel mileage for being such a heavy duty truck, especially with a gas motor. And guys, it's it's just a phenomenal truck, super comfortable um, and priced really well. So if you're thinking about it, uh, I would definitely, definitely check out a Ram and see what, see what they can do for you. Thanks guys.